After being in Arizona for four years, Badger returned to Hot Springs in 1910 to care for his aging and ailing father, which he continued to do for about 14 years. His stepmother encouraged his speaking career. She taught him public speaking, coached him on his appearance, and acted as his agent. He grew a goatee to look older. Since he was very shy, he found that wearing a military uniform with boots, a wide-brimmed hat, jacket, and pants gave him more courage to speak publicly. He dropped Charles, his first name, and used exclusively the name Badger for a more dramatic effect on his audiences. For the rest of his life, Badger went on speaking tours every spring and fall. He considered living in New York City and going on national tours, but chose rather to live the simple life, and he returned to South Dakota. His father died. His stepmother moved to the old soldier's home, hoping Badger would get married and settle down. But Badger had other plans. He settled down to his writing instead, and in 1915 published Sun and Saddle Leather, and in 1917 published Grass Grown Trails. This song, children in South Dakota were once required to memorize. The song is Cottonwood Leaves. Red firelight on the city 